snoring at night? Here's what you can do, a simple exercise for you to snore less or not snore at all anymore. Do-ka-do-ha! Hi folks, I'm Boba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. There is a simple exercise that I want to show you today how to snore less or stop snoring at all. Most people snore because of the palate. The palate is kind of like in, in the way and um, is flapping like right it's the palate it's the soft palate in the back there that goes like this now when you train the muscles in the palate to become stronger your palate can become more firm it's like going to the gym and working out your muscles your muscles will become more firm right same thing with the muscles in the soft palate they will become more firm and then it's going to be less likely that you snore as much or at all so what you want to do is you want to train the palate and training a muscle is contract, release, contract, release, right? So we want to go um, up, palate, down, palate, up, palate, down. That is basically contract, release, contract, release the muscles in the palate. Now what we do in order to get there is we close our nose and we just speak. It's pretty easy. You speak and you hopefully sound uh, normal, like you usually sound and then you drop the palate. You drop the palate beats you start speaking very nasal. Now my palate is very low. It's down. It's falling. It's it's almost. It's I think it's touching the tongue most of the time. And then you put it up again. And then you sound normal again, right? And then you go back and forth. You go down again with the palate. And then you go up again with the palate. And you go down again with the palate. And then you go up again with the palate. Now, one thing to consider is not to sound something in between, right? So I don't want you to go from very nasal to just something like in between, right? This is in between, then it's nasal again, then it's in between again. I want you to go there, like right up there where, where it's very clear, your voice is very clear. Now, this doesn't take much effort. Huh? I can sit here and just talk the way I talk and then put up the palette and then put it down again and then put it up again. So I don't want you to strain or to be like, eh. it's more of a meditation exercise. It's more of feeling inside what little thing you need to change in order to put up the palette and put it down and up and down. What will help many people to put the palette up is um, astonishment. Oh, ah wow that's amazing yeah that helps a lot of people to put the palette up also raising their eyebrows helps a lot of people to put the palette up <laughs> and if you're advanced you can do it on a note what you do for that is you put your tongue to the upper molar teeth like this like that and then you say e e e e e E, a prolonged E, and then you close your nose with it, e, and then you go up and down with the palate, meaning e, Now, I want nothing to happen here is just the palate, right? I don't want to hear e, e, There is something going on in your thyroid cartilage, in your throat. I don't want that. Just the palate. E, and it always help, it's always helpful to start speaking um, speaking open and then dropping it. La la la, I speak, I speak, and then I drop the palate, and then I go up again. And the same thing with the sound, it's helpful to start with the open E, e and then drop the palate. E, right, and then go back up. But that's a little advanced. However, this exercise will really, really help to train your palate. And if you do it over a few weeks and over a few months, it's very likely that your snoring will decrease in, in volume or that you won't even have um, as much or snoring at all anymore. If your snoring is due to uh, the palate, you know, being a little floppy. <laughs> I hope this helps you. If it does, please leave me a like and a comment. Tell me what, what your experiences are in the section below. And I hope to see you around. Don't go yet, here's some important information. If this is all a bit out of context for you and you don't know quite how to put all of this together, I have created a playlist. A playlist of the full anatomical vocal training so that you understand from beginning to end 
you know, where it starts, why this muscle, why that muscle, because some of the videos that I'm doing out of context, they might be like, why are you doing this, right? So if you go to my channel, you will go to the playlists and then you will find the full anatomy playlist uh, right there. And it has everything from start to beginning, why to stretch what muscle groups, how to stretch them, why to begin there, or what to do. So it's kind of like a chronological order so that you can really have a full understanding of the whole thing that I'm teaching here. So check it out, I see you over there.